it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tax. So if you're watching this video, there's a high chance you're about to sell or give away your Apple Watch to a family member or a friend. And at this point, you're probably thinking, what should I do before I give it away? Because of course, I want to erase my Apple Watch, I don't want the other person to have access to my personal information, and I also want to unpair my Apple Watch from my iPhone, and most importantly, I also need to unlink my Apple Watch from my Apple ID, so from my iCloud account. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you in this video. Please keep in mind that this process is fully updated to 2023, and of course, fully compatible with watchOS 9 and iOS 16, and all of the Apple Watch models, from old Apple Watch models up until the Apple Watch Ultra, which I'm gonna be using in this video. So, without further ado, let me show you how you can do this. So there are actually two ways to unpair your Apple Watch from your iPhone. One of them is the right way and the other one not really. And unfortunately, the incorrect way is the most common way that most people do it and they end up having problems and headaches in the future. So the incorrect way is by simply going here to your Apple Watch, pressing on the digital crown and then go ahead and tap in here on settings and then scrolling down, tap on general and then scroll down all the way down until reset. And right here you have erase all content and settings. So if you go ahead and you tap that option, in fact, you will erase all of the content and settings. So you will erase your Apple Watch completely and you will also unpair your Apple Watch from your iPhone. You may think that this is the best, most convenient way to do it, right? But no, this is the incorrect way to do it because you will not unlink your Apple Watch from iCloud if you do it like that. And if you do it like that and you actually give away or sell your Apple Watch, when the other person gets the Apple Watch and tries to pair with their iPhone, they'll have a problem. They'll see iCloud activation lock. It's a mess. It's so complicated, so that's why I don't recommend that you unpair your Apple Watch from the watch. What I do recommend you to do is actually use your iPhone. Grab your iPhone and look for the watch app, open it up, and then let's go to that very same option. So let's go to general, and then we're gonna scroll all the way down until we see, all the way down, we see reset. So tap on reset, and the first option will be erase Apple Watch content and settings. So that very same option. But when we do it from the iPhone, we also unlink it from your Apple ID and your iCloud. I'm gonna show you. So tap here on erase Apple Watch content and settings and then erase all content and settings. It's gonna ask for a confirmation. So tap there once again. And then as you can see, Apple ID password. So it's gonna actually ask for the password of your Apple ID unlinking your Apple Watch not only from your iPhone but also from iCloud. So this is the correct way to do it. So go ahead and type in your Apple ID password and then all you have to do is tap on erase at the top right hand corner. And as you can see, all you have to do now is wait a few seconds and the process is all automatic. As you can see, unpairing Apple Watch. So first, it'll unpair the Apple Watch from the iPhone, which is exactly what we want. And at the same time, it's also gonna remove it completely from your Apple ID account. And as you can see right here, your Apple Watch will give an indication as well, uh, a spinning wheel right here. And as you can see, it's working. And all you have to do now is literally wait. So leave your iPhone and your Apple Watch close to each other and it just takes a few seconds. It'll take up to a minute or a minute and a half. It's super fast. And so after a few seconds, you'll see this screen saying good evening or good morning or good afternoon. And this is the indication that the Apple Watch isn't connected to the iPhone anymore. It's here. As you can see, let's just wait a few more seconds for the Apple Watch to finish the process on its own. And as you can see, as easy as that, we're done. We're seeing here the hello screen of the Apple Watch, which is the first setup screen of the Apple Watch saying, bring your Apple Watch close to your iPhone. And that's it, that's literally it. Now your Apple Watch is fully ready for you to sell or give away to somebody else 
it's completely erased there's nothing here it's not paired to your iphone anymore and it's not connected to your apple id or your icloud anymore so it's completely free it's completely empty and ready to be connected to a new iphone that's literally it please keep in mind that i have my apple watch connected here and charging because it actually needs to be connected to a charger or have a pretty much full battery in order to show this screen that i wanted to show right here okay but of course the process is fully wireless you just need the charger if you want to actually go ahead and pair to a new iphone okay so that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video on dana Tech. bye bye guys